Welcome everyone to the Derpzilla channel. Today, I'm gonna to take a very quick look at this BN smart plug, as you can see right here, which enables you to control your outlets with your phone, just like this. Here we have the four pack of the BN Link Wi-Fi smart plugs. They do offer two and three packs on Amazon as well. I went with the four pack just because I had a uh, wider number of items that I needed to be able to control with my phone. And so the four pack, worked perfectly for me. I actually do have one plug, as you can see here, left over. And uh, this is what it looks like, very simple. It just looks like a slightly larger outlet than what you typically would have. And uh, I'm actually running three of these right now, linked up with my LED lights. As you can see here, I have them around my entire garage, between the ceiling and the wall, up in the corner there. And I actually run them off of these plugs. As you can see right here, I have one here running this back section of LED lights. I have one over there, hidden behind some shelving, running that one right here. And then I have another wireless plug back behind the carbon fiber trunk, powering these LEDs right here. And the reason I really wanted to go with these was if you notice the switch right here, here we go of the LEDs is kind of high up the wall. It's behind a table, my water softener, and to get up to it, it's kind of a stretch. And then of course, you know, if it was kind of dark, I'd have to do this in the dark, hit the switch. That would only turn on these back lights. I'd have to then go over here, do the same thing with that one. I'd have to go over here, move some stuff out of the way, get to that switch. Whereas with this, I have all three of my four pack linked up to one command with my phone app. I hit the button once, all three come on. I'll show you that real quick, and then I'll go ahead and link up this last plug right here to show you how it's done, and maybe I'll have it running my fan or something cool like that. It has to be something device that can come on if you had a switch on or off uh, with a wall outlet that the device would come on or off by itself, then you can have it ran from these plugs. Now, if you have something that if it loses power and you turn power back on, you have to manually hit another additional switch. This, of course, will not turn it back on. It has to be able to be on when power is applied and come back on for this to work to enable or disable these without having to do anything else in addition to that. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like running all three of these with a single command. Then we'll get this one linked up. Here is my phone. It's an Android phone, but this does run on the iPhone as well. And I actually have my three back LED, right LED, left LEDs all synced together with a single command called my garage LEDs right here. And if I hit the button, boom. Of course, that's not controlling my um, garage door lights. Those are separate right here and here. Those are actually ran by a switch next to my door back there. But these, the LED strips, as you can see, are off all the way around. Hit the button again. And this LEDs are all back on. Now I can also send individual commands if I just want to shut down a specific LED section or not. I don't have to send it to the entire garage LED uh, group. I can just tell it back LED off. And you can see how quick, there we go, you can see. The command goes very, very fast. And if you look over here, you see it changes colors. It lights up kind of a purplish color when the LEDs are on or whatever is plugged into it is on. And then it goes to a bluish color. Maybe hard to see in the camera, but Commands are very fast, very fast. Here we have the very nice Viper Turbo Fan. I actually have a video on this, check that out. Link should be at the top right portion of the screen. But I have it kind of rigged <laughs> off of this uh, surge protector or, or, or power strip, whatever you want to call this. I don't think this thing even protects anything. But that then runs to an outlet in the wall here. I actually normally have that covered with this clean face uh, plug, but just for demonstration purposes, I have it running to the wall over here. And I wanna show you wiring up this Wi-Fi outlet here, smart plug. So what I wanna do, if we, of course, unplug it, the fan has lost power. But if I plug it back in, it should regain power and start spinning again. As you can see, so now see, you plug it back in, 
if the device can come back on without any additional, me having to hit like a power button or a tr trip a breaker or do something crazy, then this will work great for it. Now, if this had some kind of hard reset plug that once you reapply power, that you have to then enable the plug, this would not turn the fan on. But for this demonstration, this should work fine. And what we can do is, I'll go ahead and unplug this again, lay that down, and then we just simply need to plug in the little smart plug. There we go, notice it has power, so it is reading fine. And we go ahead and we can add this to the app. I have my phone here propped up on the quick jack frame. If you're interested in this lifting system, check out the video in the upper right corner of the screen. I have a detailed installation video on that. It's a great tool. But back to the smart plug, which I have right here in my hand. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in to the outlet. You had to have it out unplugged for about 10 seconds. And then once you plug it in, you're gonna to want to hold down the power button for about five seconds and it should start flashing, which indicates pairing mode. As you can see here, hopefully it's flashing. So we can go back to the phone here, hit the plus sign and we can add device. And it's discovering a device and notice it discovered a device. It shows a picture of an outlet. We can hit add. And of course, I'm gonna have to enter my password for my wireless network. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that I've entered my Wi-Fi password, it is actually adding this uh, outlet that it's recently discovered to the app so we can control it via our phone. Here we can see that the device labeled Smart Plug 4 was added successfully. You can actually rename it to whatever you want. Smart Plug 4 sounds perfect for me, but you can name it Fan, Outlet, or LED 2, Back LED, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. And you have an interface specifically for just each outlet that looks like this, which is quite nice. And as you can see here, you hit the button. And that's super quick. Or you can look at all of your plugs, which with my other three plugs for the LEDs, of course, those still work. And this plug right here, it's on, but nothing's hooked up to it. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. Locate our plug here that goes to the strip to the fan and we're gonna plug this in there we go plugged in we go ahead and get the phone app and we just turned it on and as you can see the fan has booted on all controlled with the power of the smart plug and your phone app just turned it off as you can see here, it's now powered off and the fan has spun down. Well, it's spinning down slowly, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, works amazing. And you can check out device management. Kind of hard to see, but you have all your different devices here. You can manage them. You can actually create groups. It's kind of hard to uh, maneuver this thing with one hand, but here we go. And you can pick scenes, uh, set your, your own profile up. You can do different functions, functionality. Of course, being an outlet, really it's on or off. That's what you got. So fan back on, works great. So that's it. I just wanted to show you guys a different approach with the capabilities of your Wi-Fi smart plug. And you can, of course, just hit the button yourself without using your app. If you wanted to just, if you had something close and you just wanted to tap it real quick, like I just did, shuts it back off. Uh, if you saw my previous video, I actually showcased a, a different uh, switch-controlled Wi-Fi outlets. This one is app-controlled. Very cool. We'll go ahead and wrap this one up. As you saw today, it's super easy and very quick setting up the BN-Link Wi-Fi smart plug. I've actually added the fourth of the four-pack that I picked up off of Amazon to run my Viper Turbo Fan. The first three I installed over a year ago to run my six sets of LED strips here in my home garage. They've been installed and in place for over a year now. I've had zero issues with them. I've had no malfunctions, no problems with connectivity, no problems at all. And the great thing about this compared to possibly some other options is that I can control everything from outside of my home, not just in my home. So I can actually be coming home from the gym. I can enable, turn on my lights as I pull into the garage and go right to work on my car back here. 
And now that I've added the fan, I can actually get the airflow going because it can be hot during the summer here in South Texas. Get the garage cooled down a little bit. Not a lot, but I'll get some airflow going, pulling the garage, ready to go. Now, if you saw my previous video, I'll have a link in the top corner for that. But I actually have a different alternate um, setup for my upstairs office area where I actually have a switch on the wall that controls the LEDs. But that is a self-contained setup. You can only control it from the switch, not from a phone app. And you have to be right there in the room, hitting the switch to enable all your lights. This, controlled from your phone, anywhere, home or away. So that's a big bonus if you don't mind having to use your phone. Now, everybody has their phone on them 24 seven. I know my children all do, my wife does, I know I do. And really, I mean, almost everybody has a phone. So if you have a phone, this option could work for you. They have a different couple of different sets. I'll have some links in the description uh, with this, my LEDs, uh, the fan, some links to some different videos with the things you see here. Maybe you'll be interested. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. I have more stuff coming for the car home repair, home modifications, I guess you could call them. Other cool things coming, stay tuned.